so hi guys in this tutorial i'm going to be teaching you guys how you can create this type of korea tracking website with php and mysql and one good thing about this class is that you're not going to be writing any code i already have the software in which i'm going to give out to you and you will be able to do this type of logistics websites without wasting much of your time you can do this in less than 30 minutes so my name is Ugu Kevin Chimaya, the CEO of Bista Technology. Remember, all we have here is to put you through on how you can find tech and web development easy and slick for you. So as you can see, this Korea tracking website has, look at the home page, very beautiful, awesome and robust. And this particular script you are seeing is mobile friendly and desktop friendly so everything you want in a korea tracking website is here so this is the home page as you can see the home page is very very beautiful and awesome so as you can see this is the about us page and the design is very very sleek and awesome i will teach you how you can actually edit all these things how you can change both the logo the uh, written up content and the images here so i'm, I'm going to show you how you can actually edit all this thing so you don't need to panic on how you can get all these stuffs edited then here is the services page as you can see these, these are all the services they render here this design is very very slick and awesome you can't afford to lose this particular software you understand so if you scroll down you're going to see the whole designs in this particular website awesome then the next thing is uh, the next thing is the blog page which is the news page as you can see these are the news that were posted in the website you understand very sleek awesome and robust then the next one which is the last but not the least is the contact us page these are the contact us page so you can actually edit all these stuff here i will show you the method you use and edit all these things then another thing i want to show you is the tracking page so this is the tracking page so let's track with this code here so if i track with this code definitely you are going to see the shipment the shipment details this is the sender's details and this is the receiver's details so let's dive into the system and i will take you through on how you can get this website done in less than 30 minutes and you are done so instead of you going ahead to write all this code you might waste five months without getting it like this so I'll just take you through step by step process in which you can get this done in less than 30 minutes. So, thank you guys. See you in the tutorial. So, guys, welcome to the C panel. So this is our C panel. For you to build this type of website, for you to build this type of website, you just need to get a domain name and hosting. So you getting a domain name and hosting, you can get that from um, you can get that from Hostinger or you can get that from Namecheap. So I highly recommend Hostinger. But here I'm using Namecheap, but I prefer Hostinger than Namecheap. So now. That is the basic place you can get a uh, hosting app. Then now, for you to get started, you really need to go to your file manager. So you open your file manager. This is your file manager, and you go to your public underscore HTML. So if you are doing this for your uh, clients, this is where you'll be doing everything. You understand? This is where you'll be doing everything. You're going to be uploading your files here. But for me, I just want to create a directory. Do you understand? So I just want to create a directory. So for me now, I'll just come click on new folder. I'll name the folder trans 
trans ship so I'll, I'll name the folder trans ship then I'll create the folder so every all the work I'm going to be doing will be inside this trans ship so if I want to locate the link of this website, I will go to this, look at the domain name, tatatapower.com. So I will put tatatapower.com slash trans, transship. But had it been I did it inside my public underscore HTML, that is had it been I did it, had it, had it been I will be doing it inside my public underscore HTML, the, 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 if I want to locate the link of the website, it's going to be tatatapower.com. But the fact that I created a transship directory which is this folder here if i want to locate the link it will be tatata power slash transship so now let's continue so once you have created your folder like this the next thing you are going to do is the next thing you are going to do is you upload your files you know so the next thing you are going to do is you upload your files so for you to upload your file you click on upload click on select file so once you click on select file, you locate your file, you locate where you where you saved your file in your system. So don't worry, I'm going to tell you how you can get access to this software. So you open this, you you upload this zipped folder. So this is the zipped folder, you open it. So when you open it, you allow it to upload. So you are going to allow this to upload to 100%, not only 100%, you are going to allow it to turn to green. So let's look at it. Awesome, it has reached 100% and it has turned to green. So what you are going to do is uh, we say go back to our directory. So you just click here, you go back. So once you go back, you are going to see the 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 file here, which is this transland zip. Then you right click on it, you click on extract. So once you click on extract, you click on extract files. You close. So once you click, then you come here and click on reload. So you are going to see your folder. So once you have uploaded it, you cannot delete this one. You don't need this one again. Awesome. So now the next thing you are going to do is you open this translat folder. So once you open this translat folder, remember we want to work inside transship, not transship slash translan. So we are going to move it inside our transship. So you come here, you click on select all. So it's going to select all the files here. Then you right click on it, say move. Then you delete this. You delete this transland here and delete the slash so you are now pushing it into transship so you move files awesome so we can now go back so i click on my public underscore html go to my sorry open my folder here so as you can see we are now inside transship folder so now the next thing you are going to do is you open this folder called sql so when you open this folder called SQL, you see your SQL file, database.sql, this is your database file, your SQL file. So you right click on it, you download. So it's going to download in a few minutes and it is done downloading. So the next thing you are going to do is to go back and create, the next thing you are going to do is to go back and create our database. So now for you to create your database, you just go back to your cPanel, you will look for your database, you can come here and search. Um, S Q L. So you see SQL database wizard. Awesome. So you click on my SQL database wizard. So it's gonna bring you here. Or another way you can use to another way you can use to locate this is when you when you enter your C panel, you scroll down. So you are going to see your database section. So you click on my SQL database wizard. This is my, my SQL database wizard, not my SQL database, my SQL database wizard. So you click, you open my, my SQL database wizard. So from here, you now enter your database name. I'll say trans. Awesome. So I click on next step. So from here, you're going to put trans. 
awesome. That is your username. Your database username. I can, I can say trans two. You understand? Then for for your password, you click on password generator. So you click on password generator. You can generate how many any type of password you want. So but I think this is okay for me. So I'll just copy this. So once I copy this, I go to my my windows i search for notepad i open it what i'm going to open it is so that i'll be able to paste my password here so this is my password i zoom so why i'm zooming is so you can see it very well so i minimize sorry so i minimize i've saved my password then you come here and say i've copied this password in a safe place you, you tick you say use password so it's automatically going to fill these two spaces for you with the password so you create you say create user so cancel so here is another um here is another document that you need to save another information that you need to save so when you when it comes to database there are three ma uh, main important things in database one is the password let me say pass sorry this is the password the one is the password then the two remaining uh, information you need to know about database is the database username and the database name so this is my database name and this is my database username and this is my password so these are the main three important things we know we we supposed to know about database and SQL so you minimize then you come back here you, you click on all privileges then you click on next step remember to click on all privileges awesome we have successfully created our database you understand so the next thing we are going to do is you go back to your cpanel if you go back to your cpanel you go back to your database section this is your database section then you search for php my admin so this is my php my admin this is where we are going to be uploading our sqfi in which we downloaded let me show you in which we downloaded this is our sqfi this is where we are going to be uploading it so you click on php my admin so this is php my admin then when you enter your php my admin like this the next thing you are going to do is to locate the database you created so i click here i will locate the database i created which is trans so i click on it so once i click on it it's going to create the open the database for me then i come here i click on import follow my step you click on choose file once you click on choose file you go to download that is where you where your database sql file is saved then you select the file downloaded from your cpanel awesome so i'm going to give you access to all these things then you open it so once you open it the next thing is to click on import so this will automatically import the file for you and from here you can see the the uh, database tables here admin and tracking so this SQL file does not contain much information. So the next thing you are going to do is to is to connect this SQL file and your website. Do you understand? So that is the next thing you are going to do. So now for us to do search, what you are going to do is you come back to your um you come back to your folder, you go back, you come back to your file manager, you go back. Then you will see db.php so you right click on it you click on edit awesome let me zoom this so you'll be able to see it clearly so from here now we have a db server local local host then we have db username which is this we have db password which is this we have database name which is this db means database what you're going to do is to fill this information with the database information we got so I open my notepad. First thing is my SQL password. So I copy this. Copy. Then I go back my SQL password. So this is my password. So I'm going to replace this 
with my password so this is my password then the next thing is my database username so i open this database username so this is my database username so i copy this so you go to your username this is my username so i come here i replace it with this then the next thing we are going to do is my database name so i come back here database name so i copy this so i copy this i put it here awesome so after that let me zoom back after that the next thing you are going to do is to click on save changes so i now put it to you that if you come to this cpanel copy this link open it in a new tab so open it in a new tab this is what you are going to see so let's put our directory you understand which is transship so i copy this so i copy this transship come back here put forward slash put forward slash i paste it here then i click on enter awesome as you can see this awesome script is now displaying you understand so you don't need to revenge the we don't need to start coding for you to achieve all these things so all you need to do is just get this software from me upload it to your server and edit it to your customer's taste you understand so shipping companies worldwide can get you for you can hire you for you to develop websites for them and this is what you are going to do for them a lot of shipping companies out there does not have websites so you can submit proposal for them get this software for me and this has all the features that shipment that shipping company needs to have you can create tracking i'll also create tracking then we'll come here and track a shipment so you see how it actually works so now the next thing we are going to do is we venture into here for us to go log into the admin you understand so for us to log into the admin what you are going to do is you come here you come to your uh, your domain name you put forward slash admin so you put admin then you click enter so this is actually going to take you to the admin login interface but the problem with this admin is that we don't know the admin username and we don't know the admin password so you don't need to panic i'll tell you how you can get the admin username and the admin password so you go back to your sql file here here is the place we uploaded our sql file you understand so you go back to your php my admin then you come to this you click on admin so once you click on admin you click on edit you understand? so here they said admin username is admin then admin password you can change this password to anything you want i can change it to b star sorry b star one two three so i can change this to be my admin so i copy this when i copy this i come back here i say my admin logs like my admin login details then i say admin username so admin password equals to this awesome so now when i've saved it like this then i can now come back here click on go awesome i've saved the information so now i'll now come back to this my admin page then i will reload once you reload you can now put your admin username to be admin sorry here is username say admin then here is your password so here is your password you now paste your password so it's a login so awesome this is your admin login page and this is very very simple and slick do you understand it's very very simple and slick so you can come here 
this is your tracking this is the already tracking number we have in this you can delete if you don't if you create it for your clients you can delete all these things and let me copy this then so i'll come back So I'll come back to my home page and let me go to my admin and copy this tracking code. So when you come here and click on track, track shipment, then you put your track, enter your tracking code here, click on track. Awesome. It's going to show you all the details, name, sender's details, receiver's details, uh, more details about the shipment. It will also show you the location of the shipment. You understand? So as you can see, this is very, very slick and robust. So let's try and create shipment and see how we can be able to do it. So I come here, you click on, if you want to create shipment, you click on add shipment. You click on add shipment. So once you click on add shipment, it's going to generate code, the tracking code for you. Then it says send us detail. My name is Bista. that's contact information zero eight zero eight zero zero one zero four seven two then send us email okay send us email ceo at vista tech dot com so that is my email send us address i can say I can say lagos the Lagos is normal. Send us address. Then um, receiver's address. I can say Mr. Web Webbit. Receiver's contact. I can say zero eight zero zero seven zero eight five eight seven. So this is the sender's contact. Then sender's email. I can say C E Oh, at see you at webitech.com. Send us address is UK. So I'm sending it to my boss in UK. Other um, information. So other information about the package. Is other information about the package package description this is where you come and describe everything about your package you understand so I can say this is a laptop this is a laptop then the date you can now come here and enter the date of the so today this is the date then expected date that you to reach i'm expecting it to reach by 17th of may awesome then the status should be active so this is where you'll be controlling your status you can say active inactive picked up if the if the person has picked it you say picked up arrived if it has arrived you, you put arrived so this way you'll be doing more work you understand if it is delivered you, you click on delivered you choose delivered then if it is on hold if it is on hold you put it on hold you understand then this patch location should be nigeria awesome so active i'll put it active then i say add shipment i click ok so this is the shipment i created this is the shipment i created just now so i'm gonna copy this awesome so i'm gonna copy this now then i'll go to my um tracking page i'll go to my tracking page then i'm gonna track this now so once i track i click on track 
awesome and as you can see it now showed all my all the details of the shipment so this is my name Bista. this is my phone number this is my email address and this is my location so this this is the receiver's name phone number email and location so all these are the the description of the uh, shipment is this is a laptop so all these are the more information about this particular product we are talking about so that is that on all you need to know about this site you understand then the next thing I, I want to show you is you come back to the admin this is normal admin settings you understand that is if you want to change your username and admin username and password then the next thing I'm going to show you is apart from this let's come back to the home page you can as well edit all these things all this information here you can as well edit it so as you can see this information is in index.html so I can come here here they said info at example.com then I copy this if I copy this I come back to my C panel so when I copy this I come back to my C panel I open my transship so you are going to see index.html so this is the file you are going to be editing so you open it click on edit so once you click on edit let me zoom so you can be able to see my code very well then you come here you click on ctrl f you understand so once you click on ctrl f you paste what you copied and it's going to find it for you ctrl f means find so it's going to find it for you then here they said info at example.com i will now say info at at my domain name which is sorry my do, info at example.com i'll delete this and put info at ta 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 power ta ta, ta power.com then i'll still copy this i'll put it here so i'll still find it again to see anywhere there is example.com i'll fill it up with tatatapower.com so i'll find again to see just anywhere you see tatata anywhere you see example.com put tatatapower awesome it has finished then i click on save changes so once i save changes you come here if i reload this i put it to you that if i reload this this email is going to go out so i reload i refresh so as you can see the the email the web mail we now have here is info at tatatapower.com because that is the domain name we are using to do this demonstration then the next thing is if you want to edit any that is about one page if you want to edit anything in the about us page click on about so as you can see about.html and this about.html is still still have this um information but let me show you another thing in home page this home page This home page, let me show you something. This home page still have some information that says trans. So if you come here, you say transland. We want to change this to the name of our website. So I put it here. Anywhere you see transland, you change it to ta 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 power. So I, I edit this. Ta. Let me use capital letter. Ta, 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 power. Ta, ta, power. Shipments. Awesome. So that is what you are going to do. Anywhere you see, anywhere you see Transland, make sure you edit all these things to your. Make sure you edit all these things to your domain name. Is very very important so I copy this so 
so I search, I click on this arrow to see if I can find another ta -ta -ta power, another transland. So here I put, I put ta -ta -ta power. I don't want to edit this because this is a comment tag. And I go again. I go again. I don't want to edit those ones. Mm -hmm. Then I'll edit it here. I'll put Transland. I'll put all these things are alt attributes. So I don't want to tamper with the. So I'm, I just want to edit the the code, the content, not the code. The code is okay for me. Awesome. So I can now save this. So once I save this, I, if we come back here, this is the home page. So all this place we have Transland. If I reload this, it's going to change to Tata -ta Power Shipment. Awesome. Tata -ta Power Shipment. So that is how you can edit all this content. So now the next thing we are going to do is let me show you about us page. So if you come to about us page, this example dot info at example dot com. So I copy this. So when I come back here, I'm going to cancel this. Then I go, if I cancel this, I come back here. So I look for about.html. As you can see, what we have here is tatatapower.com slash transship slash about.html. So it's about.html file that we want to edit. So I come back here. I look for about. This is about.html. So I right click on it. I edit. I edit then I zoom why I'm zooming is so you can see what I'm doing clearly so I say control so I say control F I put this here so from here I will now put ta 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 power power.com so I have to copy this so I can save it then I find for I look for another one. I still change this one. So you can see that something that this could something like this are supposed to take you two months to produce. You cannot do it in less than one hour. So you find you replace you find you replace you find. So it has finished and now save changes. So let's come back to this our about us page. If I reload this, this is gonna change to ta 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 power dot com. Awesome. Can you see it? Then the next thing I want to show you is how to how to how you can edit this logo. So this logo is very very simple to do. So for you to edit this logo, you come here. You right click on this logo you say copy image address remember copy image address you come back here you paste it you click on enter so as you can see that this this logo is located at our public underscore html shipment transship then when you open transship you open assets you open image that is when you will locate this logo do you understand so let me just download this logo. Save image as logo.png. So once I save it, I go to my so once I save it, I go to my download folder and this is where I downloaded it. So I'm going to take this to my Photoshop and re-edit it. So I come back here. I put it to my Photoshop. So this is the logo i can zoom for me to edit and i can zoom i use this thing to delete to select this i'm very good in photoshop so you know how you can find your way to edit this this logo then i delete so once i delete i can i can draw anything i want let me say I draw something like triangle like this. 
if I draw something like triangle, I click my control enter, then I create a file for it and I fill it up with um so let me fill it up with this color then I deselect I can come here and do it in this way then delete deselect so let me just come here and remove the other logo so I can use this as my logo for example then I'll just bring my so I have course in Photoshop. You can get it from if you want. If you want to learn how to do all those things, then you say, let me say, ta, 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 power, power, shipping. So I can I can actually use this as my logo. Awesome. So I'll save this. I'll save this then save it as PNG awesome so if I go back to my download folder you see that this logo we downloaded has automatically changed that this logo we downloaded has automatically changed to this because of the the design we gave to it so I'm going to replace so I'm going to replace this logo we have in our website with the one we designed. So remember the directory of our logo, which is Transship, Asset, Image, and Logo. So I go back to my files. So let me zoom back. So I go back to my file. I go to Assets. I go to IMG. Then here, I'm going to upload the logo I designed again. So I click on... I click on upload so when you click on upload you click on choose file you locate the logo so this is the logo I open it so it's going to tell me do I want it to replace I said yes say yes then you allow it to turn to green awesome once it turns to green you go back then you now come back here you now come back here and reload this page so as you can see, I reloaded it and this thing didn't change. Then I had to do hard or refresh. I refreshed it and it didn't change. So I have to do hard, hard refresh by pressing my control F5. Awesome. That logo has automatically changed. So that is how you can use and edit even this image. If you don't like this image, you just copy image address. Come here and paste then you see that the image the image name then you can if you click enter you see the image so you can re-edit this image and upload it upload it back and it's gonna change then if you want i'll put my phone number on the description below if you want to get access to this file i'm going to be giving it out for thirty thousand naira for this first one month the price might increase tomorrow but for now i'm going to be giving out giving it out for 30,000 naira for my Nigerian client then for my international clients I'll be giving it out to you for just $50 awesome so rush now and get this file for yourself and keep it for yourself then start looking for jobs that you can use this file to do so thank you guys I made my humble self Ugo Kevin Chimaya the CEO of Bista Technology and the CEO of Bista Graphics and Print thank you guys see you in my next tutorial so if this video is so useful to you please subscribe to my youtube channel hit the notification bell so that anytime i drop an update you'll be able to get an update thank you